Hey guys, this is Sam's Geek from FreeScracker.com. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Simpsons game for the Xbox Live Arcade. And after 20 years, I gotta say, The Simpsons game has holed up pretty well. A lot better than even some of the other beat-em-ups such as X-Men. Now, Konami has took into account a lot of the things people have said about beat-em-ups on the XBLA, such as they become a little too easy, and they become a little too repetitive, and they tried to mix this up with different quarters modes, where you could have each player have ten quarters, or you could have each player have only one quarter and one life, and they've also made it so that you could have different difficulty settings, as well as they added a pool of quarters mode called... I believe it's just called quarters mode. And The Simpsons Arcade has t also took into the fact that it's a 20 year old game with lots of fans and included things such as the flashback section showing the timeline of actually how the game was made, how it was, how the Japanese posters worked, and even showed where all the characters are in the game along with the sound test. Now I wish the sound test was a little bit better and instead of using a bunch of random numbers to implement the sounds actually had what the sounds were and you could play the sounds but it's still awesome that it's in there and it's readily available for any of the classic fans but the big question is is the simpsons game worth ten dollars and honestly i gotta say that if you're a huge fan of the game or if you're a huge fan of simpsons and wanted to see some of the interesting concepts they had during the season one time period it is worth ten dollars However, if you don't fit into either of those categories, it's not really. The Simpsons game does hold up pretty well, but eh, it kind of gets repetitive. And even though it's only about a 30 minute campaign, it can get old pretty fast. I mean, I tried to play it at my Super Bowl party, and people got bored about halfway through the campaign. Now, not to say that it's it's old or repetitive for people who do love the series it's just introducing new people to the series after all these years can be tiresome especially since new games like castle crashers have revolutionized the genre and have actually revitalized a lot of the thinking behind this and the fact that even some games like x-men can have better mechanics and can actually be a lot more fun just quickly playing through at a party setting or something now, it, this game being $10 also is kind of a turnoff. I mean, it, it became, you know, the cool little game. If this game was $5, it could be the cool little game that everyone buys and can have on their Xbox and ac access it whenever they want. But at $10, there's a lot of competition on the XBLA. And there's not really any reason to pick the Simpsons game over anything else. You're really paying for the license here, and you can tell. If it wasn't, if this game wasn't The Simpsons, you probably would not be paying ten dollars, and that kind of sucks because it would be the perfect game that you could recommend to your friends for a really cheap price point. But at ten bucks, it's really hard to recommend this gem. But if you love the series, you'll definitely love it again on the XBLA. That's why The Simpsons gets a seven out of ten.